hey y'all welcome back to the channel and yes you know we're back in messy video honey where we get five star ratings and if we could go higher we could make it a 10 but this is a hot mess y'all we're gonna be talking about cardi b and tasha k cardi b won her lawsuit against youtube blogger tasha k and Tasha K going on every social media platform, every media outlet she can get to say she ain't got five, four million dollars to pay Cardi. Cardi must be out her mind. She ain't finna pay nothing because she ain't got it. <laughs> I said, Lord, this thing just keeps going through the washer and not getting clean. Do you hear me? Going to the washer and not getting clean. Who do Tasha K think she is? She don't sat up there and lost doing interviews. And I'm sure they are paying her for her to come and talk and say her piece about all of this. Now, she originally had the opportunity to take down all her videos. She decided not to on Cardi B. Cardi B tried to send her a sister and deceased letter. I mean, stop talking about me. Stop, you know. Uh, making salacious stories about me, scandalous stories, making all that money, talking about me and saying things that are not true. Tasha K didn't do that. And people are saying, well, Tasha K can go bankrupt. She ain't got to pay her. Well, that ain't what Carter B said. <laughs> Car Carter B said, I'll be damned if she don't. All the money she had to pay out to her lawyers to try to get this thing rectified. She said, bitch, better have my money. And she ain't talking about her lawyers. She talking about Tasha K. And she keep her, bitch, better have my money. Okay? Not half, not some, but all my cash. Because that's why she did what she did. And if she had to enlist Rihanna in her camp to get her money, she would use Rihanna's song, dance, and any image that's perfectly matched the show Cardi B, I mean the show Tasha K, she ain't playing. She ain't playing about her money. Cause she damn sure spent a lot out on her lawyers that did a fantastic job in representing her throughout this case. Now child, I don't know why Tasha K going around here talking about she ain't got Cardi B's money when the law has definitely sided with Cardi B on yes Tasha K has to pay Cardi B and Cardi B is hanging on to that thread of truth and she like if she thinks she's gonna escape my wrath of getting my money back that I don't put out trying to represent myself and get my name clear in the court of opinion house she must be crazy. So, I don't know what Cardi got up her sleeve. But she damn sure said, you think this is a game? I'm coming for everything. Yes, she did. And I'm like, good God. Good God of my God. Tasha K, you better go on and find that girl money. If you have to set up on a payment arrangement or whatever. Because you don't want to fool with somebody that already in the eyes of the law. Have proven her case. And she got the money to go even deeper on your behind. Girl, I think you should just find a way and pay her. And stop with this ridiculousness, this boycott on Cardi B. You know, Cardi B, Cardi B. You know, and I ain't giving her nothing. I ain't doing nothing. Just doing, you know, uh, interviews out here. All willy-nilly still talking about she ain't got it. Now, at first she said she had it. That she wasn't going to, you know, stand for the mishap of a trial that she lost. She's going to appeal. And she's going to appeal, appeal, appeal. And think she's going to drag it out. Cardi B got more money than Car uh, Tasha K. Okay? Because Tasha K really just blew up last year. On salacious stories that we come to find out that they weren't true. At all. And Tasha K allegedly for the people that were inside of the courthouse reported back that Tasha K was on the stand talking about everything she said was a lie 
everything that she did to um, Cardi B and slandering her was made up. None of it was true. And the judge told her or required her to take down those uh, videos, scandalous videos, defamation of character videos, and all that good stuff. And I believe she did. She had taken them down at one time. Then it seems like she got them back up. But it's on another platform. It's not on her YouTube. But Cardi B was like, I don't care which way it floats or which way it totes. Bitch better have my money. And I'm like, is your husband ready to go to war? Girl, is your husband ready to go to war for you? Because I've said, that's the kind of stuff he get down with anyway. He's going to go to war with his wife. And trying to get her legal stuff taken care of with you. Tasha, girl, is Chet ready to go to war with Cardi B and her husband? I don't know. He don't look like he want to be bothered. Because from how I was told, allegedly, while y'all both was in court and Chet had to get on that stand, he had like he ain't had nothing to do with what you were doing. He threw you up under the bus. Now, I don't think Cardi B husband Offset would have did that to her. Okay? But, yeah, that's just a hot mess. Girl, you need to pay Cardi B. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And the eyes of the law and public opinion as well as in the court of law for us to adjust the scales. They swung definitely in Cardi B's favor. And do you don't think you ain't going to be able to pay that money? Child. I'm telling you girl. You need to pay the money. You need to pay the money. But honey we're going to get on into a story we had. Um. Got from Hollywood Unlocked. They were first on the scene to try to break it on, break it on, break it on down for us. Okay? About what the hell is going on. And believe me and trust me, if somebody owed me that kind of money, I'm like Rihanna all day, all night, 24-7. Bitch better have my money. You see what I'm saying? I'm coming to get it legally. But... Trust and believe the pain that I have to go through to pull all my ends out to pay these lawyers. You can best be sure I'm coming for everything, even the kitchen sink. Anything that's bolted down that we can put on the block to sell, to liquidate and get me my money, my ends, my greenbacks. We going to do that, girl. We are going to do that. But anyway, we're going to get into Hollywood Unlocked. They titled their story. Tasha K says she's not playing with Cardi B for a million. She's not paying Cardi B for a million in defamation lawsuit. I ain't got it. <laughs> so I'm like, hold up. Wait a minute. Well, let's see. If you live in that house and it's paid for, yeah, she can get that. Um, If it's not paid for, she can put a lien on your house. Okay, until the debt is resolved to her satisfaction. Uh, those cars you drive, if they're paid for, they can be sold as well. So, you may not have it in your bank account, but trust and believe Cardi B is going to look long and hard on where she can get every piece of change, every piece of hidden money you got somewhere tied up in assets. She's going to get them. Okay? But it says Tasha K. Uh, yikes, I've been ordered to pay nearly $4 million in her Cardi B defamation lawsuit. YouTuber Tasha K confirms she's filing an appeal and that she's not paying a cent. She claims, I ain't got it. Now, again, what if you lose the second time? Which, 99.9% you're going to lose. What are you going to say then? You can't keep going to the courts, to the court. I think you even said she was trying to go to the Supreme Court <laughs> at one time. I'm like, who would want to hear such a frivolous case that is really open and shit that didn't even need to have legs to walk on to get to that point of an appeal? All right, you admitted to doing everything to this young lady we call Cardi B. All right. <sighs> You have nothing to stand on but to pay Carter B her money. But going back to the article, it said in a recent interview with 
our black social society tasha is asked if she's even worth four million to pay the bronx rapper tasha exclaims i got it women she said i ain't got it listen i ain't got it don't ask me for no money she goes on to explain we have business things in place to take care of things like this the appellate court and supreme court is in the process right now confirming she's going to appeal the decision she says that's what appellate court is for who's trying to pay for a million and i'm like yeah you can you can apply to be heard at the appellate court but don't mean they gonna side with you baby girl don't mean they gonna side with you they still may come out and say four million granted to cardi b immediately then what you gonna do then girl what are you and your husband gonna do then okay because cardi b is coming for the win she's coming for the money she don't care where it comes from how it comes from but she just wants her for a million and with you going out here making interview after interview after interview whoever wants to even interview you i'm sure they're paying you as well you need to be saving that money to save up to pay cardi b Okay, but going back to the article, it says, as we previously reported, Cardi B won her defamation suit against Tasha, and the judge ordered the YouTuber to pay Cardi nearly $4 million after spreading malicious rumors about her. Following the decision, we learned that Tasha K looked to file an appeal, and now it's been confirmed. Okay, what are your thoughts, people, on this mess that... First, Tasha K was talking all big, bad, and everything that she's going to win. They're winning in court. And she's sitting up there in her alter ego telling the court and the jury, yep, she said this about her. Yes, that was her. Yes, she said this. Yes, it wasn't true. All of it was made up. It's my fault. I'm like, what is going on? You pretty much threw your own self under the bus. And they should have just said, hey, uh, let's just end this. The jury ain't even got to decide. I'm going to decide for the jury. Case closed. Cardi B wins. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pay whatever the jury decides uh, rewards and reparations needed for the insults and the dehumanizing of Cardi B and her uh, body makeup or just being uh favorite as an un uh, what do you call it um an uncivilized woman out here she definitely is a civilized woman tasha k definitely defamed her and she needs to pay whatever price we had set out there under the laws of the law we can um make uh carter p have in a silver lawsuit okay and so that's basically what it was i'm like how in the hell you gonna play like you got it all you know it all and you know you gonna win and this that and the third you lose and you gonna be saying oh i'm gonna appeal this that and the third it's all about payola it's about all about clout chasing and this that and the third i got you know uh wronged in the jury and, and in my case this that and the third just making up excuses then she's gonna come back after all the smoke is clear and we're looking to collect she going to say, oh, I ain't got it. <laughs> like, wait a minute, girl. Who you going to have some audits on you? The IRS people going to be looking at you. Girl, you going to wish you ain't never open up these can of worms by the time Cardi B finished with you. But I, that was just my opinion on it all. I think it's just stupid as hell. She should have been making up. Well, first of all, she should have just took the videos down, apologized to her and say, well, look. These are the sources that I got that told me this on you. Uh, can we just make it go away and then you go handle these people behind closed doors? But I will take all the videos down this, that, and third. And I'm pretty sure Cardi B would have said, okay, I'll do that. I will do that. Just take all them videos down that I don't ever want to see them come up. If they do, it's going to be repercussions. You know what I'm saying? Repercussions. And then it would have been a, a situation like that. But she didn't. Cardi B wanted to uh, put out or did put out a cease and desist letter for her to stop all, you know, blogging about her and all the untruths she was telling and this, that, and the third and take down the videos. Cardi B, like, I mean, not Cardi B, but Tosh K was up there saying, uh uh, uh uh, I'm, I'm going to take it to court. I'm going to take it to court. Now Cardi B is pushing back saying, this is not a game, but trust me, I'm coming for everything. You can best believe, okay? Mama coming for everything. Because she really thinks that you're taking this as a joke. And with you going on other social media platforms that is higher than her own.
getting you know major coverage major you know interviews people are really really talking about her in the who's who circle as looking like a such a fool or whatnot but you know they're still talking about her and then you sitting up here and talking about you ain't got no money girl girl people that are smart and know they've been caught and they know there's no way out for them they ain't out here making videos they ain't trying to be seen in public they trying to be everything is on the hush hush down low and then if they have to beg the person to give them some leniency you probably won't even hear about it it'll just be a conversation between them too but tasha k seems like she still haven't learned that's such a pretty outfit on her isn't it guys i love that green but anyway, Cardi B said, I want my money. And that's basically what she probably saying off the record and with her homies. She better get my money. You know what I'm saying? Or we coming, we coming for her. And we're going to take everything. The house, the cars. If we can take our children. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to mess with the children. But we're we going to take college funds. We're going to do everything that's possible to come close to that $40 million. Even if it means stripping her butt naked dry. And she has to go to a homeless shelter or whatever. We're going to make it do what it do. Because she eating off me. She's still eating off me. Talking about me to all these uh, big ass blogger sites. Bigger than her own platform. And she don't think I'm going to be uh, not receiving anything from her. After the law has sided with me. And prevailed in my favor. She done lost her mind, honey. So that cryptic note she wrote on her her account, saying that um, it's not a game. That she coming for everything. You best believe, Miss Carter B coming for everything. How can't we say everything? Yes, Carter B is coming for everything, everything, everything. And that's all I got for this video, y'all. Y'all get down in those comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. And this mess that's still going on. About who's going to pay who for what. And who told what lies on who. We already know. Cardi B's won all that. She's just waiting for her reparations. And if, if uh, Tasha K don't think she ain't going to pay her none of it. Okay. We going to wait and see, honey. We going to wait and see. And for it's over with. Shoot. Tasha K may be at Bitter Ford Clinic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She might be singing without a boat to carry her down the stream. You know how they say, roll, roll, roll your boat? Hell no. Cardi B gonna be done took the boat and the paddle. She's just gonna be floating. All right, floating. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to like the videos, and definitely share the videos. And I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.